Santa World Dreamland. I want to go for it. The Shart Shop. A Shart Wonder, a Life Wonder. Apparently it's their birthday, 10 years this year. Happy birthday. Yay. I'm so glad we can make it to California Disneyland. That's <laughs> brilliant. Stetson hats, they are the best around. The taste, you can see the ton can taste. Okay. Brilliant. The uh, lady at the front told us it's very busy here today, as you can, uh, as you can see. <laughs> Yay! Right, we're gonna go find a cred. And then, later on, we're gonna go to Oriental Heritage. Yay! It's First fun. up, we're going on Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey. <laughs> Yay! Yeah, it's, um, it is one of those robot arm things, apparently. So I'm, I'm really excited to see what this is like, actually, because I've heard good things about their dark rides. The Wizard Academy. Yeah, I've heard really good things about their dark rides, so I'm excited to, uh, excited to try it out. See how it goes, Wizard Academy. So good to be back in Hogwarts. The Great Hall. That is definitely Dumbledore. <laughs> it's just Michael Gambon. <laughs> it's really cool in here though. Yeah, this well this one definitely moves. Yay. Oh there he is. Dumbly do The theming in here is actually really quite fun. <laughs> Loads of potion books. Your text here, sample text. <laughs> oh god, I'd hate to be in here on a busy day. Potions class. Right. Oh, look at this cattle pants too. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Huh? That's what I was saying. I'd hate to be in here on a busy day. This is really cool. Sick. Um, I lied. It wasn't the uh, robot arm coaster thing. I just got confused. It was what it was like Spider-Man, um, Spider like those oceaneering things. But but like, it was Hogwarts. Rip -off. It was amazing. I'm Lord of the Rings rip off. Yeah, it was just like I couldn't really follow the story. It was like it was very Chinese in that aspect. It was, it was yeah. kind of like you went to the wizarding school and then loads of creatures happened and, then and tried to kill you. At the end. And then a wizard flew in at the end and was like. You're but I kind of thought the wizard was disappearing. So it disappeared yeah. the whole time. He was like, a lot of shit was happening, and then nobody came to save you. And then at the end, the last scene, the guy came and saved you. He just flew like, in and was like, hi. Ah. And sort it out. But yeah, oh my god, that was amazing. The theming yeah. was great, and the transitions between the scenes were well, really good. Um, there were, it, and it was like really forceful as well. It properly like swung you around corners and Going stuff. Going beside me, was breaking it. Yeah, they do. It's fun. They do. Yeah, they do. that was really good. If the rest of them are like that, I think we're on for a good day. Woo. It's really weird because it's such a contrast to like everything else is just like a, li a little bit like, I don't know, washed out looking. It's weird. Yeah. X cop looks a bit. X cops. Well, you're getting given 3D glasses. Spite. Get the spider. Yeah. I, this, this, is, this is giving me like Terminator vibes. 100%. Like, it, thank you. It's all got a bit of Skynet in here. Oh, the door's open. She open it. Follow the woman who's yelling. X cops. It sounds like something from The Simpsons. Oh, okay. 
Are we in the show? Okay, no, look, you're in vehicles. Okay, this is weird. You're in these giant vehicles, okay. This is odd. Oh, look, there's a woman up there. Okay, see what this is about? Should go in the back one at the front row? Yeah. yeah. Taking our seat. Okay. This is what this looks like here. Front row, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. That was fucking weird. It was, yeah, I don't think there's much more you so can say about that. Essentially, it was Terminator. Terminator. It's, it, it's the same. But you go in and it's like Skynet vibes, like, oh, we're gonna show you a presentation of technology and then they've pretty much just ripped off the Skynet video. Yeah. But you're in these huge vehicles. So we're 50 seats And there was this one. tiny thin screen and I was like something that I was looking up and down and thinking we're gonna, we're gonna change room, but I can't, I don't know where we're going. And we looked around and I looked backwards and it, like you moved backwards into this huge show building and then they then proceeded to pretty much rip yeah. off the whole of the Terminator show. But it just felt like a lot of effort and then they didn't really do anything with the it. The gunshots weren't live. Like it was, yeah. There's a fundamental difference between the volume of the show and the volume of the gunshots. And I don't know whether that's a legal thing or well, something. Well, first of all, we thought, oh, maybe the show's out of sync or something. But then they were just like... It looked some like... Some bits of it were quiet, some bits of it were loud. It was a little bit strange. It looked like if you were doing a film on a eye movie, you know, those sort yeah. of special effects that explode. Yeah. <laughs> It was really weird because some budget, you could tell budget had been spent in some places and it was amazing. And in other places it was like, oh, that was a bit crap. So yeah, it was uh, definitely worth doing, I would say. It was something different, I think. Interesting. Um, yeah, I think we're going to get the, uh, go and get the cred now. Get that out of the way and then there's a few more dark rides here we want to do. <laughs> We just came off the coaster, it was fucking shite. Operations were bloody terrible as always. What are you gonna do? Huh? Connor's having to get a drink so he can take some headache tablets because it was that bad. It was shit. Oh look, they've got themed bottles. Yeah, cute. Oh, have you got one? Yay. Right. Oh my God. bizarre thing for China. Yeah, chilled drinks. Right, it's dark ride time. See you in hell, shitty roller coaster. Yay! Here's our ride vehicle. Here's some Chinese faff for you to watch. Look at this, look. This is my Everyone sits down and then they go, Have you got any loose articles? And they go, Yeah. No, it's the baby. Oh no, baby's on laps. We've got babies on laps this time. So she's gone into the front where there's a spare seat. <laughs> the fuckery! This is why you wait so long to go on these rides. Why was she put her hands above the bar? Sure, she's got her hands under the bar. <laughs> there you go, hand up. Oh, no, no, not quite. What are you doing? There you go, right, finally got there. You got there. It's playing Pirates of the Caribbean music. Yeah. It is, yeah. <laughs> it's better. Oh, the phone out. Phone's out. Oh, yay. Yeah, there we go. Bye.
fucking good. Yeah, it was sick. Yeah, that was worth the wait. I don't know why they rush. The operations are just so bad. Like they just run their eyes like absolute shit. Like they've got two vehicles and it's a massive it took dark ride. Minutes. Took about 45 minutes and it was what? Probably like two vehicles worth in yeah. front of us? Like it just why? Why did it have to take so long? And the ride was really good though. Like the projection mapping and like it was just ma that's one thing I would say. Like you wait a while, but the rides are long. Like you get your like waiting times worth, I'd say. Yeah, I think I don't well, I wouldn't have wanted to wait much more than what we did for that, if I'm being honest. Yeah, look, this it's is well really weird. Weird. like that's that's the actual entrance to the ride but it's closed they're using the weird side door over there but you can see like the whole building like it's fucking massive but yeah it was uh it was it was very very good very it was very good to the terracotta army coming along. yeah so like it was like explorers in a, in a tomb and then um shit goes down as you expect it would do yeah and then the terracotta army come after you and try to kill you i guess yeah probably or turn you into one of them something like that yeah so but yeah it was like an indiana jones type of thing but themed to the terracotta army army so you can imagine what that's like yeah it was very good very good so we've got time for one more ride what here before do? heading over so we're doing something cool it's called something like white snake maiden or something I don't know what it is, but our friend Gavin said that we, we must go on it, so... I love the gold on the that trees. That is where we are heading to now. Oh, giant theming. This place is basically like, it's got one coaster and like a crappy little funfair bit, and then it's just a series of massive dark rides, is what it seems to be. It's quite strange. Oh. <laughs> womp womp. <laughs> we saw a woman get hit in the face with one of those sticks in the last queue, so that was fun. I need to try and figure out what's what. There's clearly, is that just like a, that's just a seating yeah, area. Yeah. That's clearly something as well, but I don't think it's open. It looks spooky. Well, it looks like a Halloween type of a thing. I think this is the maiden voyage thing in here. Cause I, th I think I know what this is. Um, Cause I remember seeing pictures of it before, but. Uh, smells nice. Smells delicious. <laughs> Smells really good. But yeah, we'll uh, go in here and see what the crack is, I think. Warm, warm. Oh, well. Um, yeah, the end, that's another annoying. Yeah, everyone's still trying to go in, despite the fact that this woman's at the front saying it's not operating. That's another annoying thing about these parks. Like, they, um, they operate on, like, a time schedule thing. So, like, if you get there at the wrong time, basically, you've got to come back at, at a later time. That one doesn't um, operate again until half past one which is too late for us because we're going to go and do Oriental Heritage now. So I guess we missed out on that one. Oh well. Yeah, I think it's, it's one of those things. It's a bit annoying, but you can understand given the capacity. Oh, you got yeah. Yeah, of people here. There's just nobody here. Yeah, it's, it's really weird because you come in and you're like, oh, the park is dead. Like, you can see, look, there's no one around. But they go, oh, no, it's very busy today. And you're like, well, it's not. You're just shit at running your ride. There, there's kind of some kind of spooky house there. Get open, see what that is. See what it is? Friends and not return. When you are on a rainy, thundery night, into the chamber of secrets in front of you, shut off and hide behind the door in the unknown, only by pushing through these doors through, the room will be able to get out of the chamber of secrets. Enough bravery, challenge it. Oh, All right, let's challenge it then. <laughs> Oh my god, that's horrendous! Oh my god, look, he's a dead chav. I've got a kiss on the least of my hand as well. God, It's very strange. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it was an upcharge. It was really weird. I don't know what it was going to be though, because they were about to give us some high vis jackets, so. I think it's just a horror maze. It's just a horror maze, isn't it? Don't beat up the haunted house staff, is one of the rules. <laughs> 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 Don't pound on the haunted house. Do you want to have a walk in the castle? Or are you ready to roll? Here's the castle, look. Yes. No, I'm ready to go. So pretty. Cool. Thanks for having us, uh, Phantom Wild Dreamland.
Beautiful trailblazer. So excited. Looks fab. It is very, very warm today. Oh. Yay. So excited to go on this. Some food here. Connor's ordering just a selection of stuff. Fuck knows what he's coming out with. This park is very, very pretty. It's exactly what I was thinking it would be. As you can see, it's uh, it's pretty quiet like the other place was. You can see um, Jungle Trailblazer, yes. We just got off of it. It was uh, Jungle Trailblazer. It was fun. It wasn't like my favorite thing in a ride. It was quite uh, rickety. We sat back row and it, it was fast, had air time, the inversion was great, had good hang time if you like that kind of thing, but it was just slightly on the rickety side for me. So I was just a bit like, ugh, came off it a bit like shaken. Like for me, if a coaster is gonna be in my top 10 or for me to really rate it, I need to be able to get off it and go, yes, let's, let's go around and do that like straight again. But that, I was like, oh no, like, I wanna have a little, little sit down, ride some other stuff and then maybe go back and ride it later. So yeah, it's good, I'm glad I did it. Not top 10 for me, it was just, it was, it was a fun ride. I think Connor actually liked it more than I did, <laughs> which is unusual. And if this doesn't turn out to be some sort of it's a small world ripoff, then I'm going to be very upset with you. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's what this is going to be though. Look at it. Front row, yay. Thank you. <laughs> it's a small world after all. It's a small world. <laughs> it's fine. how shameless it is. It's like, yeah, we'll build one of those. Yay! Oh my God. A celebration of the world's nations, but mostly China. It is mostly China, well hold on, we might see if Ireland's in here. I highly doubt that. We keep attempting to leave Asia. And then we just keep coming back. Yeah, yeah. That's very cool. Versatility. Do we Sounds think like a really crop it is a ride? Name. Isn't it an apprentice name? I think versatile was an yeah. apprentice name, yeah. We are versatility. Oh, how help. Hi. Do you want oh, to photo? Photo time. Yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> he loves it. Look. Hi, I'm good, thank you very much. <laughs> You're very good. Yeah. You got it. Thank you. Bye bye. Yeah, I don't know. 
Is this a is this a restaurant? It's a fucking restaurant. Perfect. It's a restaurant. That's sick. Fuck's sake. Time for cred number two. Land of lost souls. They love to make a statement with their entrances, I'll give them that. Here you going? Behind here. <laughs> Whee! Ooh, spooky! souls so you can guess what it's themed to it's like Land. i guess it's hell you're going to hell <laughs> yeah. but you start off in like a chinese town at night and then you go around a thing but it's like it's quite funny because like considering look, look that's the entrance it's obviously like quite grand and fab and then the effects inside are like a Flash strobe light. light with some like shitty skeletons strung up but there was like a random bit of fire as well like no, the first bit I, it, there's a lot of darkness in the first bit yeah and you're like oh, oh, like, oh this is a bit this shit this is shit yeah and, and it gets good yeah, yeah. It's good. it was fun I think we're gonna go and try and like the last cred here is the stress express um, that's me when I'm like wanting to get some creds. <laughs> Stress Express. Um, it's boomerang, so we're just gonna go and try and knock that off and then hopefully do some more fab dark rides because yeah, that's really what these parks do best. It's quite random how the rest of the park is like really fably themed. It's and then this area, the stuff like that, where the boomerang is, is like a fucking fun fair. It's really weird. At least they've like chucked it at the back of the park so no one can see it. Yay! Here we go. You alright? Oh, rank. I would get some shots of that, but number one, I'll be waiting here for fucking ages because they haven't even started load. We've been off the train for about five minutes and they haven't even started filling the seats of it. Um, and you've all seen a boomerang before, you know what they look like. Blue. It's blue. Good it has hand the hand. new restraints with the vests and the yeah. Still doesn't make it a nice ride. <laughs> it was all right. I always find like in the heat. Oh, uh, it's it's yeah. They're not not my favourite. But yay, creds are done. Look, there it is. Yay, yay. Dark ride time. Yes. Nom 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 nom. Bubble waffle. Yes. What are you getting? This is for one. This is some ice cream. Ah. Uh, it was meant to look yeah. like this. This and M&M's. Yeah, and Fruit so, Loops. Nom yeah. nom nom nom. Yummy. So, I'm kidding with fruit. Oh, yeah, that makes no difference. There you go, come on. Yummy. It's exactly what we need on a day like today. All of these things. There's actually quite a lot of them. Oh, so nice. <laughs> There's actually quite a lot of them around. Yeah, now they're banging. Head to the spot. So good. Yay. <laughs> We've been spited by the uh, timing run of things, so we're going on 
Tale of Nuwa, which I know what this is. Connor doesn't. <laughs> Some, something with serpents. Ben! And, <laughs> ben, so nice of you to join us, Oriental Heritage. Yeah, so there's a woman at the top going, yes. Thank you. Okay, here we go. Oh, yeah. The theming in all of these things is just brilliant. Yeah. And then you go on the rods and it's like. Oh, there's the standard someone walking the wrong way out of the queue line. Oh my god. So cool. Oh, it's nice and cool in here as well. Uh, just trying to get in front of these people. <laughs> Oh my god! Huh? Entrance. Go. Okay. Oh, this way. This way. In case you were confused by the uh, spacious corridors. Ah, oh, it's lovely and cool in here. Crystal and everyone wanted it, but you did the white to, like, guy get wanted more? The good I don't guy know, the they were all bad. It was just again like a series of creatures who wanted the uh, who wanted Crystal. something from you, and then you just have to basically like protect protect the all spark. Like it's like that, basically, pretty much. Yeah, that yeah. Depends, that and then you just go for it. They love like a slow mo effect, like there's so much like a giant monster hand going. And you just sit there and like all the Chinese people love it. They're all like, oh, like touching it. <laughs> uh, it was it was really very good. The 3D on it is amazing. Like some of the effects of like the staging and stuff, incredible. Like really, really worked. Like the perception was fantastic. Moved seamlessly between yeah, scenes. Yeah, it was Sick. very, very good. We really enjoyed that one. Yeah. Yay! It looks like Devil's Peak is open. I'm actually really, really excited to go on this. Earlier I was saying about um, the Forbidden Journey ride, but it's actually this one. <laughs> so we are going in. Yay. I really don't know what to expect from this. I'm sure we'll see. Oh, air conditioned again. That's fair. We just came off Devil's Peak, which is the um, robot arm coaster thing. I didn't, I disagree. I think it was, um, it's funny because that kind of technology, you do automatically, if you're us, you automatically associate that technology with the Harry Potter ride. Mm. And as 
when you have that kind of um, like preset idea of what it's going to be, you're going to go in thinking this is going to be that level of thing, and it's not. But it was really like disjointed. Like the graphics on some of the screens was really bad. Like like PlayStation One kind of graphics. Like it was like you could see the pixels, and I was like, well, this is shit. But then some of the theming inside was really good. But you were moving through quite slowly. Like the pace was all wrong. You could look, you could look down and see the track because you were moving that slowly. Yeah. And then when you there was a ball noise, as I was saying, there was like a plastic ball on the top that kept rolling every time you sort of went up and down, which was a bit distracting. Yeah, we kept being like, oh, I dropped my phone. Like, what, what, what was it? And uh, but that you could only probably hear that because the volume was so low. Yeah, like all the, we found that with all the rides here, actually, like when you go on like these kinds of rides at like Universal you have like the booming soundtrack and then all the soundtrack of the narrative so characters talking or sound effects of explosions or whatever here they don't really have the background music to carry you through from scene to scene so if someone on screen isn't talking so then there's nothing happening <laughs> you're just like moving from room to room and there's someone like maybe whispering in your ear in Chinese or something which obviously if you're in Please. English speaking you don't understand and I know this park isn't catering for the likes of us and that's fine no, but there are just that. large bits where you're just kind of like twiddling your thumbs which on a ride you shouldn't be you say that but I I remember being in Tokyo and, uh, and I was what was it the Fuji Mountain one was that Fuji Key Fuji Key and then a horror thing where all we had was headphones on oh, yeah. and it was all in Japanese so you can definitely tell a story by the way yeah speaking. but that's not what I'm saying yeah, I'm saying like in between there are some bits where someone's just whispering in Japanese in um, Chinese ah, and you don't know what it's saying. Yeah, but it's not adding anything. No. You know, I mean, that's, that's, I'm sort of getting out of going, you, you know, if there was tone to it or panic to it, it was just somebody whispering. Yeah. It's like, well, it doesn't make any sense. It's just, yeah, it's quite weird because the level of technology is there and it's like, well, we haven't really done anything with it. This but whole yeah, part's I'm, a bit I'm, weird. I'm glad, I'm glad we went on it. You know, in this part, it's lovely and it's great, but there is a lot of amazing theming and it looks stunning but then when some of the rides are a bit like oh right that's why have you said i think this I, I do sad? yeah i do think it's you know you associate that kind of level of technology with the disney's and the universals and like you said like the budget's obviously not as big and you can see where they've saved the money it's just a little bit strange but yeah i'm glad we went on it i'm glad we can say we've tried a different version of it but now we are going to try and get another ride on uh, Jungle Trailblazer. I don't know if it's um, open still. if it's still open. The park closes at five. Four it's currently 4.30, but well, Devil's Peak, which is the, the road we've just come off of, I saw that they'd closed that. Um, I mean, we can see. If not, I'm glad we went on it once. Like I said, it's not my favorite thing in the world. I'm glad we rode it. It was fun. I'd like to try it in a seat closer to the front and see if it's as uh, rickety as, as the back was. But we shall see. When we turn this corner, we'll see if they're still letting people on. Hopefully they are. Out of Oriental Heritage now. Bye, Jungle Trailblazer. We just rode it again, um, this time in the front. Chinese people have this weird thing where they like... Scared of the front and don't back. sit in the front of the coaster. So, or any ride. Yeah, it's, uh. it's odd. Um, yeah. yeah, I don't, honestly, I don't really understand the hype for that coaster. I think it was It was fun. good. Yeah, better in the front. Yeah. I've been in far better. It's just quite, it's quite then, like jolty. Like it's not that comfortable a ride in my opinion. I love that <laughs> I can say I've been in better Woody's back home and that just means one coaster. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're heading yeah. out now. We're going to take some nice uh, pictures and stuff of the entrance bit because we're going to ramp in. This place is lovely. These yeah, are that's super nice. <laughs> that's fab. Yeah. yeah, see you later for Oriental Heritage. Making noodles. Yeah, what are we making? What is it? I'm making sweet. Like sweets. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, it's sugar. Pulling sugar. Mm. Yummy. That's fab. Pepper pig. <laughs> I love pepper pig. This area is really fab. You want a little? Look. Yeah, that little toaster. Mm. Cute. Yeah, really I very cute through here.
hemorrhage? <laughs> or handle hemorrhage part. <laughs> I'll give it thumbs up. I'll have to give it the score out of two. I'll give it two out of two. <laughs> oh, you'd say, fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> 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 you sure you don't want a bow and arrow? What do you want? Five, five, five. Five out of five, five. <laughs> <laughs> or, hold on, fist bump. <laughs> oh, I've got a fist in. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Marada. <laughs> Yeah, so that could do some damage. Yeah, I don't hurt you. It's like actual legit weapons. With the more extreme of us. Depends how experienced you are. That's me for now. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs>